the August Stakes is next. This is one mile and five furlongs. It's a nought to ninety. This one. And at the top we've got the Bunty for David Robertson, Dion Star, Alex Cherry, Gwitane approaching McMilk, Red Rover, Padering Hogan, Jammer Cottage, James Shea, Ballerina Queen, Martin Lillum, Spread Eagled for Graham Clutterbuck, Stella Bjorn for Satyam, Glass Jaw, Alex Cherry, Quattro Catch, James Shea, Nashville Cracker, Vinnie Gerard, Minus Thomas Rogers, and Benici Hope for Ben Benici. So 13 this time to face the startup. And they're all ready to go, and away they go. And who's going to be the first to show? Ballerina Queen of the Grey was quickly out, and Gwitane approached, and Stella Brion were slowly out, but Red Rover right on the far side in a yellow jacket looked like it was interested in getting across the lead, but has been suddenly stopped in that manoeuvre, and Gwitane approach has actually managed to get through, and now the Grey Stella Brion. So the two that were slowly away have come through to dispute the lead with Quattro Catch, and those three have gone clear. By three lengths of Glass Jaw, who's back in fourth. Red Rover is in fifth. Then the two greys together are Ballerina Queen and the Bunty. On the inside of them is uh, Dealey on Star, Benici Hope wide on the track. So too is Spread Eagle, Jammer Cottage, Miners, and Nashville Cracker are the back three. But Stella Bjorn has got the lead. And it's another one of those Satyam horses that like the front run that are going to be difficult to get by. Gwitane approaches second, Quattro catches in third, gap of three lengths back to Ballerina Coin and Glass Jewel, Red Rover on the outside of that one of them, Benici Hope, then comes De Leon, Star and Jammer Cottage, the Bunty is next, Spread Eagle, he's going to go wide on the track, the back two still Miners and Nashville Cracker, but they're well inside the final mile now and Stella Bjorn is in the lead by about a length and a half to Gwitane Approach and Quattro Catch. Gap of four then back to Glass Jaw and Ballerina Queen. Red Rover is next and then Benigi Hope Jammer Cottage is after that one. The Bunt is still going well. Dealey on Star now making a forward move on the inside rail. Spread Eagle is still wide on the track. Miners is looking for racing room and Nashville Cracker is going to try and pass them all. But it's Stella Bjorn who's still in the lead by a length and a half. Gwitane Approach is second. Then Quattro catches third. Then Ballerina Queen Royal Ascot winners beginning to run into fourth. Then comes Red Rover and Glass Jaw after that one. Benici Hope, Dealey on Star is next. And then Nashville Crackers now making a forward move from the back of Stella Bjorn. Kicks on again. Quattro and Catch trying to cover the run. Gwitane approach. He's in third. Ballerina Queen coming around the outside. Glass Jaw needs racing room. So too does Red Rover. Benici Hope is coming through. So too on the outside. Nashville Cracker. It's wide open this one. Then we've got three furlongs to go. And it's Stella Bjorn who's still a length and a half clear of Quattro Catch, Gwitrain Approach then comes Red Rover, Benici Hope is coming through, Ballerina Queen is still there Nashville Crackers running a blinder on the outside Red Rover's trying to get going again but it's still Stella Bjorn in the lead two furlongs to go and Stella Bjorn being pressed now by Benici Hope, then comes Red Rover, Nashville Cracker, Dealey on Star he's after that one, but it's the Satyam player that have hit the front there, Stella Bjorn and Red Rover but now Nashville Cracker flies up the centre of the track, here comes Spread Eagle and Jammer Cottage with a fast rocking run, but it's Nashville Cracker who's come from last to first and Nashville Cracker is going to take the August stakes up towards line, Nashville Cracker wins it fast finishing, the Bunty might have been second, with Spread Eagle and then um, Stella Bjorn was after that, Benici Hope dropped right out the back and a pretty competitive handicap there and Nashville Cracker sat out the back and came through and took it at a big price for Vinnie Gerrard and Nashville Cracker the winner for Vinnie Gerrard the Bunty for David Robertson was second spread eagled for Graham Clisbock was third Jammer Cottage for James Shea was fourth and Ballerina Queen ran on again into fifth for Martin Leedham